Good evening. Now let's get into all the screws. Oh. Six. Cool. That's seven. Do my lunch stuff for tomorrow. Prep my clothes. Dishwasher's dirty. Clean the pan. Yep, I'm good. I oh, was checking all done everything I need to do tonight. Except brush my teeth, but I do that just before going to bed. Oh, I went in before. They kicked me out. What was all those notifications? Very weak. This is the vampires. Your thought in the um dude. Wait, all three places are um, dilemma, so good chance this isn't. I miss fireball. Hey, get out of here. That they guys weren't infected. Or at least if they are infected with their um smart about who would they go to and where they go. Preview. Ooh, I like that one.
Oh shit, they respawned. <laughs> I waited so long that they respawned. Getting distracted by us. Speaking of distractions, my print just finished. I'm gonna start the next one. Seconds. Not the bed. We go. Might need to do some quick Google in a couple of minutes. Got it respawned. Well, that was bloody stupid. Spiders.
Ah, oh, that little deviation in the print, that's the, um, the support that's being printed. Why is it making that noise? I thought it was grinding against the plate, but no, it's just the deviation where the support's printed. It's got a bit of hanging material. I'm gonna cut there's a real mushroom that looks like that. Apparently it smells absolutely revolting. That's odd. I could have sworn I heard something. These fucking things. I hate these so much. Mm, I think they might have bad in this game, but Jesus Christ. Hit me the tears when I played Morrowind. Give me a second, I forgot to plug something in.
Yeah, this is the way I hate doing. Not a spell I meant to do. Ah, uh, and it works. Let me correctly, this is a doll. Yes. I was kind of hoping that was the boss fight. Oh, this is the second one. That might have been friendly. Yeah, it's harmless. And now the question is, what is the real boss?
all the way here. That wasn't it. How old is it? <laughs> is it top where I came in or is it the middle? Because if it's in the middle then... There's two of them up here from them currently. Go across here because if they respawn, then I will be okay. Let's look up where the boss fight is. Okay, so he's in the middle somewhere. So he's not on top. No, no. Not down here. Please don't respond. Please don't respond. Please don't respond. Yeah. Okay, so maybe he's in the middle. Not at the bottom. Unless someone else is in here recently. How do we get to the middle? Okay. This guy. Probably this guy. Hopefully he's in the middle. That's the exit.
Und das ist der Fall, das Fall. Maybe if I take out these two guys, I will come out. Definitely no way to get up on top, is there? No, it's like a curve, so it's not meant to be up there. He's not on level one. I mean, top level. That's gonna get me to level three. So I'll go to Thanks. No one done this part. Oh shit, maybe there is. Maybe it's at the very bottom. Down here. There we go, that's what I wanted. Oi! Nice, 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 nice. Where did this get me to? It's lava. Okay, so I can see back around. Like this way instead. Yes. Right, so instead of taking the shortcut, if I actually went the proper way, I would have run into him straight away. Okay. Where again, I can't. Ah, here we go. Probably just teleport to the next area, but... I'll spend the money if I have to. Iridium dust is new. Let's... Get up. It was four levels. This is to level three. I mean, that was level three. 
Level four. Level four has the expert. Alright, now I'm curious. What's down this way? These guys. That's just a door I can't get through, or...? Again, yeah. Same place, different door. Right. So this is a lower door. I came in through the upper door. I want to leave. My wind diamond did build a little bit differently, but not much. I mean, in terms of it in this game, the Morrowind in Dwemer in, in the Morrowind game, Jesus Christ, it's a completely different way I think the whole thing's metal. Like it's metal walls and everything, whereas in here there's still stone. Okay. If you run under water. Underground shift than the other ones. My shine is this way.
West Gash. Is it like a canyon? The gash in the world? Oh, okay, so I must have been the exit to that ancestral tomb. I'm on the way. Okay, hold on, actually, I don't want to get copyright striked from YouTube for that. Oh, there's a little pagua. Nisus. I've definitely been here in Morrowind. The game. I can't remember if I like this place or not. Shops here, or is it just the official house? It's a mystic temple. For the eightieth time, help is on the way. I've received assurances from Pops Rhetoric. Oh, not my lows. One and another one. Oh my god. Nice shot down there. I remember to get it on my way out. Unless... I get down there after. Okay, I've done it. Anyway, okay. I'm just gonna go down and get it. to the bridge. So this is the one with the ghosts. Supposedly. Hey! 
Ihr wollt ihn gehen. Ah, ey. Ah, okay. Weird, I need to my guys when they should have all disappeared. Something unique about this place. Damn it. As long as I don't have to fight the ghost again afterwards. No, you don't. Don't you dare. Damn it. Well, this ain't a Delta, is it? No. Okay, so I've got to stop these from firing somehow. That's the one. Now, the question is, is the furnace thing timed? Timing's long enough for me not to care. Nothing that way. One way out. Water in the other room. I 
much. Probably gonna be one way too expensive and two probably not for sale anyway. Place and storage. I like the bed. Okay, it's not too bad, but I think the price gap between this, yeah, the price gap between this and the one in um Windhelm is pretty reasonable. Means do I like more than Windhelm? So I bought Windhelm already, and should I have waited? <laughs> Still right now. Oh. Always save up more. Buy this one, but... We'll see. Have you only just arrived, or is this you returning? I can't always keep the cogs and pistons in line. Okay. I was like, wait, what? Ah, I remember. The components for the tonal inverter. Were you able to acquire them? Impressive. I thought I'd never see you again. That's what usually happens when I employ hirelings to acquire rare and exotic items from dangerous locations. Well... The great gear doesn't dawdle, neither do I. I'm... One tonal inverter coming up. Connect this, tighten the spring. Don't explode. <sighs> Almost done. There. Nice. It looks like an instrument. <laughs> Inverter. Did I mention that already? No matter. It should counteract Sofa Seal's modified staff. Of course you don't. I just invented it. 
honestly. You won't use it anyway, not if you plan to fight the one who wields Sothasil's staff. Almost impossible to operate the tonal inverter while also engaged in battle. Sunara, the Blessed Staff? I suppose the name fits, sort of. You'll need someone to assist you, someone you trust. Oh, not me. Easy as scrib jelly pie. One person operates the controls to generate the sound waves. When it reaches the proper pitch, you activate the inverter and discharge its energy to disrupt Sunara's power. Thank you. a busted way shrine. Presence defiles the city, Ashlander. How dare you demand to see our god? I'm here to help. If you won't listen to me, listen to the Outlander. Thank the free. The Outlander has returned. Was Barozal able to help us? Yeah. Pay no attention to this Ashlander. She's been blathering on about Lord Vivek's condition and how she can help, but I'm certain it's a trick of some sort. Or the fish I forgot I existed. To have her thrown out of the city, or possibly tossed to the slaughter fish. I know who she is. I still don't trust her, and I refuse to let her anywhere near Lord Vivek. Who knows what an Ashlander would do while the warrior poet is in such a fragile state? It's only ripped off part of it, but oh well. It's not extremely important. A tonal what now? Well, since I can't go with you, or with Lord Vivek requiring my undivided attention, I suppose we'll have to let the Ashlander assist you. If that old idiot is what passes for a tribunal leader, it's no wonder the houses are in such disarray. No time to dwell on that, though. I found my brother, and it's worse than I feared. Chodala's quest for power. Chodala and his most loyal followers have taken refuge in a ruin called Kaush Terari. It's an ancient shrine devoted to the Daedric Prince Malakath. I think my brother plans to ask the God of Curses to help him. It will allow us to stop Chodala? Then of course I'll help you. No, I'll cast the power behind me. Dogs took my weapons. I'll need to replace them. Meet me at the ruins when you're ready.
Probably that was researched him. He's not a red exile. The hell did that come from? Come on, my wee. Yeah. Oh. It's at 8 p.m. where I am. Okay. Printing off perfectly. Before I go in there, Jesus, this place is going to be expensive. Shima can even go in there. I mean, can even buy it. Private island, but it's fairly connected to the mainland. But it's not a giant mushroom. It's kind of cool, but not for sale. Ah, 
uh, this is the place where you go to f talk to the f last Dwemer alive. It's uh, portals go up and down. My chamber. Sweet. It's one. Workshop. Sweet. And the door outside. The chamber. She is probably where the main bedroom is going to be. Oh. Not as big as I expected. And it's quite big, but it's still not that big. Interesting. Oh, it's got its own little dock. A little dock. That's cool. They're fishing. What happens if I go off the map? Oh, I got attacked by Piranha. Actually, go and do the mission that I'm supposed to be doing. Here we are on the Furious One's bloody doorstep. Preparing to enter a Daedric Ruin to try to stop my brother's march toward power. I hope that device you mentioned really can counter the invulnerability granted by the staff sooner or. Well, that's larger than I expected, but it looks simple enough to operate. I suppose it's better that I work the device. I'm not sure I'm capable of attacking Chodala. He's still my brother, no matter how dangerous his beliefs have become. Ah. And the bed's a little bit more level as well. Nice. Oops. Here we are. Well, that's larger than I expected. I'll help you counter the effects of Sunara. Maybe once we neutralize it, Chodala will listen to reason. Mm. I know that's probably just wishful thinking. Mm. I'll settle for finding out who tempted Chodala with that dumb stuff. I got a feeling it was Mal uh, Malakas. Go ahead. Ask your questions. Then head into the ruins. I'll be right behind. The tribes rejected him. Azura set her face against him. Now Chodala is seeking aid wherever he can find it. That makes him more desperate than I imagined, and more dangerous. Why he decided to solicit Malakath, the god of curses, I have no idea. Malakath's an evil god, the Daedric prince of curses and broken promises. Perhaps that's why Chodala has sought him out. The prophecy of the Nereverin was Chodala's to fulfill before it was wrenched away from him.
Perhaps, but I don't think so. The Oathbreaker prefers a more direct approach. He isn't one to hide behind convoluted schemes and plots. Okay. Still, if Malakath agrees to support my brother, we'll have one more problem to deal with. Alright, just give me a second. I just got this. Oh, that time I didn't cut anything off by accident. I didn't even bend it. That came out perfectly, that one. Awesome. I'll have little slimes. It's true, I have no love of the tribunal. I also have no stomach for a war between my people and the great houses. Too much blood. Yeah, to figure out tomorrow what I'm going to print next, so I might be on a bit later tomorrow night. So I might be doing some printing prep. In fact, I might not be on at all, actually. I might just get a bunch of stuff ready to print and then come back on the day after. Actually, no, I'll do that Thursday, because Friday night I'll play cards. So tomorrow I'll be online, but then Friday I won't be. I mean, Thursday or Friday I won't be, but I'll be back Saturday. Over there, those red exiles, they've been slaughtered. You must have gone mad and killed them. Chodala, he's gone mad. Chodala appealed to Malakath. But the God of Curses rebuked him. Mm. So he went deeper into the ruins. Yep, he does serve someone else. He was right. It won't be Malo Ball. It's definitely not Azura. I don't think it'd be Malo Ball. It could be. I'm convinced. They don't belong to Malakath. Another prince's power is at work here. Arenandos. Ah, boy, an armager. Right. Chodala, brother, stop this madness. You bring this outlander to kill me, sister. You can't harm me. I have a powerful patron on my side. The staff protects him. You can't hurt him until we use the tonal inverter. I need a moment to get this working. What is that? No matter. You are no longer worth my time. Yeah. Stop him. They serve the Prince of Bargains. Keep them busy while I finish. So bargains. Not Malika. Oh, it's not bother my wallet, I think. Is ready. Stand in the field and focus the wave. <laughs> that, you yeah, prick. My protective shield. What have you done? I'll destroy all of you for this. Sorry, mate. Azura, we've dealt with the false Nerevering, just as you commanded. That was harder than I expected. Chodala was so... I know that! It was either Chodala or the lives of hundreds of Dunmer. All because he convinced himself he was the Nerevering. Take Sunara, and I'll meet you back in Vivek City. Your arch cannon made it quite clear that the staff was the key to saving Vivek. 
early, I'm sorry. It's with wagons, is that Malkov? Avex is vile. I knew I'd looked him up before. I'm convinced it was a Mer still an M, but Malakas, Meridian, Meridia, and uh, Moloch Bell are the only three I can think of. And I think that's the only three. Well, and there's Mayor and Stagon, but I know it wasn't him. Let's see where uh, uh, who else there? I think. Her scene? I'm pretty sure there's nine of them, but I can't remember who the others are. Like, what if I move the stuff? No. I don't like the looks of that sky. Wait. Okay, still there. Jesus. Oh, this is terrible. Lord Ledeck collapsed. Tell me, Outlander, were you able to do... And just in time. According to my calculations, with every use of Sunora, Chodala drained more energy from Lord Ledeck. It almost killed him. We can use this stuff to save Ledeck. His plenty... Working just as I expected. What are you doing? It's killing him! What did you expect? That's the point of all this, after all. Fuck. I've powered up the tonal inverter. Activate the wave. Arbus. Clovac is a vast servant. Well, that's not good. Barbus. Petal. I knew something was wrong as soon as I approached the palace. I could feel it in my bones. I was on my way here when Azura showed me a vision. I saw Sunora killing Vivek. Even without Chodala, that damn staff is dang- I don't think that thing was ever the Arch Cannon. It called itself Barbus. As an Ashlander, because Barbus is a loyal servant of the Daedric Prince, Clavicus Vile. I'm not an expert on the Prince of Bargains. Correct. That was Barbus, faithful hound of Clavic. That was simply a consequence. He needed tribunal energy to locate the Clockwork City. I was the easiest target. The Barbus entry.
What happened? Oh, by the three, Lord Vivek looks terrible. Where's Archcanon Tarvis? He always seems to know what's... Barbus? The Daedric Hound? Wait, wait, I, d I don't understand any of this. But if Lord Vivek's energy has been depleted, then the moonlit... Red Mountain... My... If only there was a way to give Lord Vivek some energy... Wait! That's it! A blessing stone! Find the Overseer and retrieve another stone from the construction site. Oh, please... I expect the Overseer is near the unfinished canton. A few moments ago, Red Mountain erupted and the moonlit above the city dropped dangerously low in the sky. Uh, I'm not sure, but... Uh, so the Seal's private domain. Someone has to take care of... Okay, okay, cool, 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 okay. Ooh, panic, I'm panicking, I'm panicking, where the hell do I go? This way. Ah, oh, that is not good, that does not sound good at all. Okay, I remember it being a little bit lower than that, but it's still pretty low. The hell is the overseer? There. My wife decides to run out and chase some damned looters in the middle of a disaster. She ran into the unfinished cantons. She's been beating herself up over the fact that they're behind schedule, but she won't do anyone any. Get out of there! Damn it, how do I get in there? We barely got out of there alive. Yes, the over greed is a power. So I've got to go down somehow.
Right, I can't make more. Going the long way. Jesus, that's getting a lot closer. Another looter. That's impossible. We installed the blessing stone back in its canton and finished construction on that section a short time ago. I suppose you're in luck then. We happen to have another blessing stone. It's at the third canton. Verona. Turn. Sounds like the city is falling apart out there, so there isn't much time. Yes, yeah, yeah, shut up. What do I do? Were you able to get another? Perfect. I can feel Lord Levesque's S. Try to go for your trainer as well. Hang on, Lord Levesque. Sweet energy, like a sip of water. Thirsty man. Oh, thank the three. Lord Vivek looks better already. Of course, the Blessing Stone is only a temporary. As Lord Vivek has written, the bravest heart never falters. You are truly Vivek's champion. I didn't know if the Blessing Stone was going to work, but I appreciate your help. Now go and talk to Lord Vivek. Atlanta. My time grows. Clarity emerges. Like sunlight breaking through the clouds. Barbus must have replaced the arch cannon weeks ago. Every move has a purpose. 
stealing my energy sowed discord and disaster throughout the land. Plavicus Vial distracted me, weakened me, all to locate the Clockwork City. Perhaps we require a Daedra to fight a Daedra, Azura's champion. How many bots? Oh, what's the time? It's 30. We've got an hour and a half. Outlander, over here. I've been trying to find something that makes sense of all. <laughs> Mortal, the Lady, the Lady of, of Twilight, Twilight has, has words for, for you. you. So Vivette deigns to ask for help. I foresaw such an event, but scarcely believed it. Listen well, for if you... Just as I anticipated, the mysteries reveal that Barbas seeks to enter the clockwork mm. city. So far, so Thessil's wars have in... Such knowledge has been hidden even from me, mortal. But I know... This mortal speaks with the authority of the mother's soul. Interesting. Summoned by a Daedric prince and her mortal mouthpiece. I was back in the middle of a crucial experiment. But I suppose I can spare a few clicks of the cogs for Azura and my erstwhile assistant. So, did you break the tonal inverter? No, not going to happen. No offense to the Lady of Twilight, but Sophie Seal was quite adamant about keeping the place hidden and warded against the Daedra. Wait, Barbus, another Daedra. Thinking, thinking. So, Sophie Seal's forgotten tools modified to steal Vivek's energy, which in turn energized the Clockwork City. Lit it up like the top of Red Mountain. Even Vile's dog would be able to see that. What is Barbus after? Wait, gears click into place. The reservoir! You need to reach the reservoir that contains Vivek's stolen energy before Barbas. You'll need my help. Near the city end. I think the hound. Sonora to get inside. We have to hurry. Daedra! Vile creatures of chaos! Deal with them, please. Which scuffing? I think I'm doing pretty well for an tree space. Okay, this dude's tough.
bastard. I may not believe this, but I really am happy to see you. I grew rather fond of you while I inhabited that dreadful dark elf form. Now you get to see me in all my glory. I'm going to bring my master's grandest plan ever to fruition. He'll be so proud of me. Just stay out of my way. Oh, yes, indeed. The grandest. My master and his partner seek to... Oh, no, no, no. Bad Barbus. I almost gave away the surprise. Oh, my master has been trying to find this place for the longest time. He actually set the ball rolling. Worried about the arch cannon? The poor old man. He died in his sleep, all peaceful like. I saw an opportunity and leapt right in. Nice chat, but I've got to run. I've got a barrel of the energy to collect. <laughs> what a prick. That should take care of the defense. I disabled most of the defenses in this section. Why? Seal installed numerous safeguards. I advise caution just in case. Barbas is ahead of us. With my help, the probability I mean, you're making it uh, easier for us, but you're making it easier for him to do. Unless he comes upon an interesting smell. Only one logical place. Most of them might be a random contraption or... I don't know what they ignore me. Arms. Maybe some sort of weapon, but no. All done. Let's run. Where the hell did he go? Ah, I locked it from the other side.
There's another Jamara. Whatever, um, Manabus is. Oh, wait, Manabus is a Scarfin, so this is dead. Right, so this is just a bigger Scarfin. Oh no. Mate, you're screwed. I wonder if this is why he gets turned into a dog. I don't know if there's a better way through that. Is it all fucking useless? Certainly the As I said, the atelier is the workshop where Sofa Seal used Sonora to experiment with his own divine energy. No, no, that's inadvisable. The atelier has defenses. You have no idea what it will do if it marks one of Sofa Seal's apprentices as an enemy. Neither do I. You go. I'll use the controls as. Is that where he went there? Oh, we have to unlock. North and south. What? Okay, so maybe we have to go this way first. Oh, okay, there's a south call. Right. I feel like that was be the case. Hopefully we can fix these. 
Don't like the look of that. The spiders, I wonder. Well done. Final touch is active. Open it and enter the energy reservoir. And fluctuations ahead. Is manipulating the energy reservoir. Hurry. Come on, let me know. Fight my new armor. I wanted to wear something special when I kill you. He's good. All right, now he's being banished. What do you want? How dare you discipline my dog? He was only trying to appease his master, and I'd never harm a hair on whatever insignificant. Indeed, what ambition! As you can see, Barbus isn't a bad dog. He does get easily ex. This little flea thinks it's smart, but my plans are beyond its comprehension. Still. By delaying the inevitable, you caused my... Let's go. Quiet, dog. Haven't you... Wait. Who dares intrude upon my lesson? Found you. Over here at... Oh. Clavicus file. This isn't good. I lost you somewhere between the Clockwork City and Vivek. But it was simple enough to trace your energy signature to this Daedric shrine. Hmm. That would be unfortunate for you. Mm -hmm. Luckily, you have me to assist you. Well, me and Sonora. Expend the small amount of Vivex energy. Be gone, meddling wizard! That stings, little flea! That actually. 
actually worked. <laughs> well, glad to see you're still alive, assistant. <laughs> Hurry, Outlander. The Vec is nearly spent. Right. So you retrieved my stolen energy. You, to quote my 75th exhortation, certainty is the prop of you sooner and restore my energy. Nice. Praise Vivek, his energy is restored. Remarkable. No ordinator or armager could have done any better. You uncovered a Daedric spy in our midst, brought a living god back from the brink of death, and saved all of Vardenfell. Well done, my friend. As my next sermon shall proclaim, modesty is the false cloak of a flatterer. Or the sincere garment of the humble. Again, you have my gratitude and that of all my people. Indeed, even those who rail against the tribunal owe you their lives. You have done much for me and for Vardenfell. But as the warrior says, do not think the battle is over when the enemy is dead. Gratitude is its own reward, I once told the clouds in Ebenhar. But I found that some of my followers appreciate something more tangible. Help me re to start. Retrieve the Archcanon's signet from the Hall of Wisdom. It is time to appoint a new head priest. I shall gather my people. Oh, well, that's not me. Yep, that's, that's about right. I remember it being slightly different position. Oh, what do you know? First place I looked. Right, he tried to kill him, but we died eventually anyway.
Surprised I didn't know that one already. Oh shit. You cursed the darkness with good reason. Now praise the return of the light. The eyes and ears of the warrior poet returns. And continue to guard it. For it represents not only my loyal servant Tarvis, but also the past. You have been my eyes and ears in the world. Now be my hands. Within the modest sack resides gifts for my faithful servant. As I call forth my faithful, reach into the sack and give them the first thing you find. They shall hear my words of praise and gratitude. While it's Overseer Shiralas, step forth. Overseer Shiralas, you sacrificed your blessing stones to aid the warrior poet. Well done. Take these recharged stones and finish building my city. After relaxing with your patient wife. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Vivek. I shall do as you ask. Battles up. Approach. Your knowledge of the mysteries of my brother's Sotha seal and the intricate twists and turns of portal magic were invaluable. Take this, and use it well to further your experiments. Gemstones, filled with a tiny fraction of divine energy. Amazing and so very generous. With careful tuning, this could improve portal magic a hundredfold. Thank you. <laughs> Canon Levul, oh? kneel before me. Was that? Did Lord Vivek summon me? Yes! Come on! Archcanon Tarvis served us well until his death. But when I was most in need of assistance, Canon Levul rose to the occasion. Now rise once more as Archcanon Levul. My lord, I'm not worthy. <laughs> I shall endeavor to become so. Thank you. And I can't wait to inform my ancestors. In every poem, it's the last stanza that holds the most meaning. Once a stranger to our land, now a friend forever. Step forward. We're gonna mean? You come before me with an empty sack. But have no fear. As I have written, Treat your enemies well. Then let it be known that from this moment forth, you shall be called the champion of Vivek. And along with my thanks, take this. Now go forth and rejoice. What about CERN? I don't like them. Mm. I may not consider him to be a true deity, but Vivek doesn't seem to be an entirely bad sort. I'll be heading back to my... I lost my brother to ambition, and became the champion of Azora. From that point of view, I suppose I'm doing as well as can be expected. Not directly, but I do have a sense that malignant forces are gathering on the plains of Oblivion. But that could just be the script jelly and cheese I ate for lunch. Farewell, Outlander. May the Queen of the Night Sky guide you on your travels. Nice. How much longer do I need to stay here? Social situations have never been my strong suit. I need to get back to my tower. Arch cannon. I don't think I'll ever get used to that. 
Still, it's been a grand adventure, hasn't it, my friend? I don't seem to know too much. Me? Among all these fine people? When I received Lord Vivek's summons, I didn't even change my clothes. A vacation. I don't think Shiralas has taken time off since we got married. I hear Seder Noon is beautiful here. Hey. Let's do some crafting. Someone has finally defeated that old crone, Mother Merc. Maybe the half I'm not willing to spend that money just yet. on this side. Fina and Taylor. The Genga. Sorry, I only just saw your message if you're still there. Uh, Taylor, Taylor. Right, so I'm done in here. Scheiße. Went the wrong way.
give you a song. Uh, this one. Oh wait, that's right, I equipped the sword. any of them back then. Okay. Uh, jewelry. I'm gonna sell some of those. Um, which I'm call it recipes I don't need. I am a what are recipes considered consumables, right? No, that one, that one, and that one. Uh, I'm not going to use those. No poisons. There we go. That'll do. Okay. Time to go quest gathering. Starts with Vex City. The hell? Oh, interesting. Not a refuge. Is that where the quest is? And they couldn't make it any less obvious.
I don't think I've got any stall arms, but just in case. Yeah. It's soft dark brotherhood. And they're not in here. Oh, that's the outside. A heal? I'm very confused. The hell? No. Welcome. Damn it, I didn't need another prologue quest. Oh, okay. Talk to this other guy. Travel friend, are you by chance going to opportunity? Or well, that's what I thought until I angered De Fair by failing to deliver the special mushrooms he ordered on time. Lost the shipment. Now I'm in a bind. I have the mushrooms. You aren't a fault for delayed delivery. 
So fear shouldn't do anything to you. Won't do anything to you, I mean. I guarantee it. Besides, I'll let you keep the payment he owes me as well. I'd rather avoid the city. You're saving my life here, friend. I don't dare refuse the order, but I also don't want to meet it this time. For someone who's helping me out this much, you can ask. Sadrath Mora is up on the eastern coast, so you could walk, but I wouldn't recommend it. Talk to Cinder, our local navigator. She can sail you up there on her next trip. But tell Varma. No clue. I could tell. What's on the door? Probably inside. And no, he's not. Lady of mercy, forgive me. Oh, do not look upon me, stranger, for I am surely cursed. Greed blinded me, and innocent. We found a relic deep in the ashlands near Kogo Room and sold it to a temple historian here in Vivet. Now he lies dead, and his young assistant is on the run. It's just a feeling. That relic had a... I don't know, a draw to it. Like it wanted me to bring it here. Interesting. It sounds crazy, but her brother sought me out. Not that crazy. He seemed convinced it was the cause, and where it came from was key to where she was heading. The Ashlands are dangerous, but around Kogo Room, there's something off. Don't find yourself cursed as well. His name was Typhus, an ordinator, real intense. But <laughs> Isn't that all of them? Was concerned for her sister, Nevena. She was young, enthusiastic, honored to be at the temple. Poor girl. It was an ugly thing. Sinister, even, but I knew the temple would be interested. It was the home of a great house that fell into ruin. Red Mountain has buried most of it. Hey. So let's go. Oh, I still got four way shrines. Seventeen. Okay. So. Oh. Call for aid. Dude's in the city. Still gotta come get a room. Another adventurer looking for work? Did you? Well, that's why it was posted. It's simple. Citizens tell us what they need, and we arrange for the job to be completed. You will be able to meet with a client. Belaru Omaril and her brother Traylan will handle your assignments. Check in with them frequently to see if they have a job for you. They'll... Belaru's requests may appear straightforward, but many adventurers find them difficult to accomplish. Traylan handles requests. I would hope you came to us after. No. Oh. Okay. Well, that's not that interesting then. More daily stuff.
<laughs> Breville stew recipe in the middle of Ardenfell. Oh, it's a risotto recipe. Not a stew recipe. I'll come back to you later, mate. Passing through, pay attention. I'll say this once. <clears throat> Pilgrims who ignore my warning vanish from the roads by morning. Whether you're from near or far, best keep your arse at Molag Mar. I find it best to put official notice in verse. Good point. Helps people remember and reminds them buoyant armagers aren't ordinators. Nobody wants to talk to them, even other ordinators. Now, if I could get someone to tell me who's attacking these pilgrims. If you're offering, I suspect Ashlanders are behind the disappearances, but I don't have the numbers to chase them off. If you can sneak into their camp near Molag Mar and find me proof of their involvement, I could finally get some reinforcements. Avoid killing the Ashlanders unless they give you no choice. I don't need you starting a blood feud with my fi As a rule, they don't like us. So when our people start disappearing, not long after... Just a... Bevex finest. Fleet and fit. Besting heretic by sword. An ordinator by wit. Sworn to live a life of... Might not bother reading so much to go straight to sleep. Aardvark, I wonder if it's like an Aardvark.
Damn it, there's only one of these parts. much to answer for is this why you sneak through our camp to desecrate our sacred rites do the slaves of the false gods fear us so much always they blame us for their ills if they seek our deaths they should just come for them these ploys and ambushes are the acts of cowards all have vanished since we arrived to find your armagers building their garish shrine over our ancestral lands. I suspect they were made prisoners of the false gods. You deny those who worship the three are devious, but if it's true that they do not seek our destruction, I will not invite it. What will make your pilgrims are not here? They litter the wild with their weakness, a beast's meal, nothing more. See for yourself. You will find what's left of their camps here. Uh, yes, one who picked up. This is Vardenfell. Sorry, I didn't see messages until just now. When you have seen what I have seen, meet me at the Helan ancestral tomb. My kin remain missing. I will find them regardless of whether you speak truth or lies. The burial ground is. And if you want proof. Oh god damn it! I need a better angle. Uh, uh, hold on, stuff's in the way. Uh, that's Red Mountain over there. And yeah. Yes, Vordenfell. So much nostalgia. Oh god. <laughs> Maybe because I'm tired. I don't know. Maybe because I'm tired of not enunciating properly. Alright, I'm gonna have you here. Don't want to go this way, but this I want to see what's in here. Oh, could be better, could be worse. Danger places, danger fortresses. It's a dwarf in place. <laughs> I don't mind it. 
because it's um it's actually realistic in this game. Because what you do is you hold tension and you push it down until you get a click. Not sure how accurate the breaking of the lockpick is though. That's the only thing I'm not sure about. Like I've never actually done lockpicking, I've just seen it being done. Did an IP security class in um, uni and part of that was physical security. One of the things he showed it, the two that showed us was how you actually lock people. Pretty cool. Something I kind of want to learn how to do just for the sake of it. Oh, okay. So generally I'm guessing you can just bend them back again until eventually they're too weak and you bend them and they break. Because like bending metal back and forth just thins it out eventually. Because it stretches a little. <laughs> uh, do you mean, is it the lock with the leg behind or is it like... Half the time, he opens a lock by bashing it with the same lock. I think that's his name. Oh, hey, hey, Freeman, how are you? How are you? I must use the real name then. <laughs> the cats. Do you still believe we are to blame? Yeah, I see clips of him on Facebook and stuff. It's pretty interesting. It's like, great. What's the point in even a lock? But it's like, the harder you make it, the less likely someone is to try and break in. It's not possible. It's not possible to make it foolproof. Just making it hard enough, you can't be bothered. Ancestor spirits, perhaps it is their wrath we have witnessed. I will not invade an ancestor tomb. No Ashlander would be welcome in such a place. Oh, that's cool. Are they expensive or they're actually decent priced? The trespass of Outlander feet is of less offense, but I will remain here. Ugh. Right, so he's not going to help me. Okay. I mean, I don't have anything that I need to block, so... I mean, I do have a storage locker, but there's nothing in it, so it doesn't really matter. And the building's pretty secure anyway, so... Unless I'm like padlocking my um, bike in public, then yeah. But the problem with that is, instead of um, <laughs> just breaking the lock, people will just like pull apart your bike for some bloody reason. They'll just like take all the wheels, take the wheels and the handlebars off and just leave the frame. God knows why. All the things. Oh, hello. Don't hurt me, please. You weren't followed, were you? The ruddy man hunts us. It lives again. It attacked our camp last night, tore poor Ilva's head off right in front of me. I ran as fast as I could, and I hid in here. The spawn of Vivek and Molag Baal? What? Is the dread hunter wearing the ancient carapace? Have you read nothing of the sermons? It devoured all it saw until Vivek cast it down twice over. 
for the living. I know. When I saw it, I ran and never looked back. Wait, it lunged from the rocks above the glass mine. We were near the glass mine when it descended on us. Watch for traps. I hoped they'd kill it, not us. Oh shit. I just went over those without even realizing they were there. I thought I'd never see the sky again. Thank the three. Thank you. Ah, oh, an Ashlander. Run, friend. In hindsight, the wailing was too pathetic to have been the angry dead. What did your sniveling pilgrim have to say for himself? Only a fool would believe that. The mad gibberings of a scared scrib. We cannot go chasing. What you call glass mine, we know as an ancient dreg spawning grounds. The slaves of the false gods have disturbed these beasts. Now we all pay the price. Hey. And we will see where this I mean, takes us. it's a rumor, but there's something to it, possibly. The glass mine is not far. Lead on. You gonna help me this time? God. Many tracks here. Look above. Why does it hesitate? Do we scare you, ruddy man? It flees. It wants no part of prey that can wound it. Or maybe it just self-defense and it doesn't actually want to attack us. Was that the creature the pilgrims fear? This ruddy man of legend. It is skulking vermin in plate. Dreg are not usually cunning. This much is true. Now that it knows we hunt it, this creature may wait us out in its lair. They will not trust the word of an Ashlander, and we know the creature. Who else, Outlander? The slaves of the false gods will never allow me to trespass their domain. If this creature is of the Dreg, it may share their weaknesses. I will consult our wise women. It is an invention of the three, a fable of great. I mean, it seems somewhat more intelligent than a regular drag. So maybe I can reason with it. I mean, it did kill innocent people. So who knows? Oh, this shit. I was beginning to think the Ashlanders got you as well. Were you able to find evidence that they've been preying on the pilgrims? Is that your idea of a sick joke? We have more sense of humor than the Ordinators, Outlander, but blasphemy is a line you best not cross. The ruddy man is an evil one of gods. That's a smell for the ages. So this is what became of Sidra. I hope she gave a good account of herself. Suppose I entertain this theory. Then understand this. Whatever you find down there, it isn't the ruddy man. The hey. What now? An Ashlander? Keep your distance, understand? Peace, Armagers. I must speak with the Outlander. That is all. If you wish to hear him out, I'll permit it. But don't let your guard down. The wise women cannot say if your quarry is what you think, but they have shared their knowledge of dreg with me. They offer a mixture to lure the creature out. Spill this in the ruddy man's den, and it will show itself. It works on the dreg. That is all I can say. Be wary in its lair. If that thing took my kin, then it is more... You have proven yourself capable for an outlander. Trust the wise women's mixture. Dreg... Okay. Oh, look, bang. Oh, cool crystals. Not giant emeralds. Grow like amethysts. I'm 
almost like green quartz. <laughs> no wonder they thought it was the ruddy men. They've been reading things about it. Did I get there? I remember the drag being in Morrowind. Yeah, but I mean, it's like almost like they were reading that and then they saw the thing and they just went, oh my god, it's the bloody man, they were just reading about it. Like, not the other way around. If you know what I mean. Like someone reading ghost stories and then suddenly they um, hear weird noises and they suddenly think their house is haunted. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Yeah, basically. How do I get up there? I think I gotta go a different direction. Jesus, that's a lot of lava. It looks like specialized obsidian. It could be copper dioxide. I mean, copper calcite or something. There's copper in it. What's with copper traces? Giving it that green color. Copper oxide and, and quartz. I'm thinking about this way too much. Am I getting f fish from the drag because they eat fish or because they're part fish? Like, like they're a crustacean. Yeah, they do look like gradient things. And it does look like they have an exoskeleton. Good to see that they eat fish. I mean, crustaceans are almost like the insects of the ocean, so. Hey, I got a partner. Kind of. Okay. Yeah, I kind of see it. 
not completely convinced, but I see what you mean. Hold on, let's take another look at one of them. These are like, these are like spider crabs. Or beetle crabs. Um, the beetles, I suppose, aren't they? Yeah, that's the theory. I think it was like crabs and there was one other thing that a lot of things just evolve into. I think it's like crabs and rats? Maybe? Ah. Oh. Oh, it was a brood mother. Right, that makes sense. No wonder why it was slightly more intelligent, because it was a hive queen. I'll get out of here. Remember. So funny there's a lot of things that not that look like crabs or aren't crabs because they just evolve that way. So very strange. God, nature's fucking weird. But it's so interesting at the same time. What if there's, if there is life on other planets, what if the similar thing happens there where everything evolves into a crab? It's like, it's the ultimate life form in the universe. That'd be hilarious. But it might be a condition of the environment. The ruddy man from the sermons took the act of a god to fell. So forgive me if I don't seem convinced your beast was him. No one knows where the original <laughs> My dad would hate dark aliens. He's terrified of sharks. Cut from the same cloth. Spiders I'd be freaked out by. enough of your deeds was this ruddy man a worthy foe you have my respect outlander our fallen warriors are avenged tell your armagers that we will soon be home the ritual of sacrifice is almost complete and the daedra lords you so foolishly ignore will we hope spare us their wrath for another decade yeah, that's true we will hope they turn their dire gaze upon molag ma before we return again yeah but yeah i'm hoping there's a lot more fauna rather than just flora Ooh. okay I think I am going to leave it there for tonight. Um, if you want to see it on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. That's cool. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, you want to check out the Twitch stream live. The link will be in the description below, or you can check me out at twitch.tv slash 96 I'll be back on tomorrow for some more of this. But until then, I will... 
See you later. Bye.